For more tips, tricks, and secrets about Helium Miner, please go ahead and reach out and leave a comment below. We want to make sure that we have a great sense of community and make sure that you're understanding what's going on with the process. And remember, these videos for educational use only. They're just here to help you out so you can gather more information. If you want to have more information about Helium Miner, make sure you reach out to an expert. I recommend someone local in your area where you can sit down face-to-face -face and have a conversation. Otherwise, please enjoy the video. Helium Miner Secrets. This video will give you some information about the Helium blockchain, the proof of coverage algorithm, and the price of hotspots. The more you know, the better. Your chances are succeeding with this new currency are high. So go ahead and watch up and we will talk about Helium Miner and we'll go over some tips and tricks and secrets that can help you out and you can make the most of your investment. Hopefully you'll find this information useful. We've also included information about mining hardware and services. So please check this out. The Helium blockchain. If you're thinking about mining Helium with the latest cryptocurrency, you wanna learn about the Helium blockchain setup process. First, you need to create an account and modify the config files. If you know how to do that, you'll be fine. If not, you should check out a guide for a step-to-step -step approach. This video will walk you through the process for the most part. The first thing you need to know about Helium miners is that it uses almost no electricity. This is because mining devices on Helium cryptocurrency, they consume virtually no heat or noise. The only power you need are radio antennas, which consume a fraction of the power used by typical computers. What this means is you don't have to worry about electricity costs or climate change when you're mining Helium. You also save a lot of money, which is another bonus. Helium uses a proof of coverage. PLC algorithm, which is to verify the network of transactions. A Helium earns HNT for validating network transactions, adding new blocks to the blockchain, or doing other tasks. A Helium miner earns HNT tokens when they transfer data using Helium network. The same process occurs when a user uses a smartphone application on the Helium network. You can earn more by HNT utilization from the Helium's network features. When most people think of cryptocurrency mining, they think of specialized hardware like graphic cards or computers. In reality though, Helium mining involves using hotspots that are operated by millions of people around the world. These hotspots use Helium Lo-Fi technology to verify network activity. They are much smaller than Bitcoin mining rigs. You can even place them on a windowsill in a home, which can be accessed by a wide variety of uses. While Parley Labs customers have been more vocal about their experiences, with Helium blockchain miner, other distributions have also faced shipping delays and refund requests. In Europe, this rect has experienced shipping delays and has been unable to fulfill orders until April 2021. By Nibra has shipped more than 50,000 Helium miners worldwide to a company of representation. However, this isn't the end of the world. Um, there is competition with reputable manufacturing, but this is the key to making profit in the cryptocurrency industry. Proof of coverage algorithm. There are a few Helium miner secrets that you should know about. These include proof of coverage PLC algorithm. To mine Helium, you need a Helium account and a few config files to get started. If you're watching this video, you probably already have skills required to perform this type of configuration. But if not, keep watching and you'll learn a little bit more about the basics. The proof of coverage algorithm is a unique feature of the Helium network. It rewards users for verifying coverage and network connectivity. The proof of coverage algorithm is built upon the Helium consensus protocol, which incorporates the Honey Badge BFT consensus protocol. The proof of coverage algorithm is deployed by participating in hotspots. They earn HNT as a reward for completing the POC challenges. Helium hotspots earn HNT through the data they use to transfer to nearby devices. But many miners use their home to generate Helium. It's not the only factor that impacts your mining potential. Location is also critical, so Consider advantages and make sure that you can find an available hotspot. Consider with a neighbor or someone at your office. Advances in tools can help to determine the best hotspot location and earn the highest HNT. You also learn about these advantages and disadvantages of different hotspot locations. Cost of hotspots. When it comes to running a business, Helium has several advantages over other mining technologies. First, it's a low electricity requirement, which just about five watts which is comparable to the usage of a 5 watt LED bulb. It's much less energy injury than the standard bulb. The peak of consumption of 12 watts consumes about 
eight and a half KWH per month, making the helium hotspots $1.20 a month or so to speak. Second, helium mining is easy to install. You simply plug the miner into the laptop or other computer and turn it on with a one-time investment of $500. You can join the world's largest wireless network. Moreover, the rewards you receive are comparable to those from more conventional proof-of-work mining. Before you get started with helium mining, make sure you know the profitability of the mining in the market. For example, the price of a new miner on eBay is about $2,000. As a result, helium mining hardware can be expensive. While hotspots cost $350, they're already being sold for well over $2,000 on eBay. However, there's no first hotspot advantage. In addition, helium hardware may be worthless for after about five years, and it won't sell for MSPR, which is roughly $2,000. You also need to upgrade your hardware regularly to make your investment worthwhile. Adding a new hotspot to your network will increase your h and earning potential. The amount of h and you earn depends on how well you place the hotspots and the location of each one. The handsome hazelnut crane is a centrally located bird that has played a witness role for several challenges. However, the bird isn't always in the middle of the action. Depending on the type of helium hotspot you choose, you can earn between 300 HNT and PS3465 per month. However, helium hotspots are not cheap, and they run for months before they can begin to generate profits. To get the best profits from helium mining, you need to establish a network of lo-fi hubs. Lo-fi has a greater range than Wi-Fi, and the coverage of your hotspot is 10 square miles. This range of helium hotspots can vary greatly, so you need to find a location where you can place them. Price. If you're looking to earn Bitcoins, there are several secrets that you should know. The first thing is how Helium works. Then you must have an account with Helium to learn how to modify configuration files. The video is going to talk about how to set up Helium so you can get tokens, but you may be wondering how to do this yourself. First, you need to make sure you are technically a savvy person. In addition to Bitcoin, Helium's cryptocurrency is formed and the Earth's crust via radioactive decay. It takes about 500 million years to create a candy bar sized block of uranium. This means that helium is relatively a new mineral and still a minor byproduct of gas extraction. In the coming decades, the demand for helium will outstrip supply. However, that doesn't mean that helium will disappear from the market. If you want to start mining helium, you must make sure that you choose an appropriate location. The prime location for a best coverage. Also, you want to make sure you get the highest returns. You must be on a roof. Rooftop locations are ideal for optimal helium network coverage. For optimal helium mining, you should be on a rooftop. The best place to set up a hotspot is going to be a rooftop. The company Helium Rent is a fast-growing startup that helps people earn cryptocurrency without risk. The company provides rented hotspots 24-7 support for users. The Helium network has nearly 6,000 active hotspots. During the process, Helium Rent also helps the community by providing reliable, and secure service. And as an added bonus to customers, they can enjoy the same benefits as the company's other users. Helium Miner Tips There are several factors to consider when setting up a helium hotspot. First, set it up in an area where less helium sat serration. Second, you should set it up in the middle of nowhere where other people are not mining helium. Lastly, but certainly not least, you should use a high efficiency unit such as a Bobcat Miner 300, which costs about $600. This unit is a Best Buy, according to Manuel Pereira, a student in Lipson, Portugal. Location, if interested in mining helium, you're probably wondering where's a good spot location. This cryptocurrency is still a bit of a gray area and Washington cracks down, so you may wanna make sure you're not in for a rude awakening when it comes to regulations suggested by the crypto tokens and securities. Making sure the helium hotspots are subject to several securities. This is a little bit of a drawback. Another drawback is helium is more useful in high-density cities, making it less useful to players in more remote areas. The best place to find a hotspot is 300 meters from the nearest device. This is because hotspots are located too far from each other. They won't communicate with one another. In rural areas, 10 miles is too far. And in cities, a mile, although profits have decreased for the cryptocurrency over the past year, still offers a decent ROI. However, make sure you learn all of these technologies before you start mining. The location of helium miner tips is crucial to maximizing profits in the game. Using a hotspot that is close 
will maximize your chances of earning h and If you're mining near other hotspots, you can be you'll be competing with H&T. However, if your hotspot is further away than 300 meters from another one, you'll be competing with other miners for the same resources. In 2017, the chief operating officer of Helium's cryptocurrency new mining operation decided to change his business model. He was running out of cash and an engineer suggested that the company use a cryptocurrency incentive model. This made sense on both Helium and its users. The cryptocurrency has since been gaining popularity among cryptocurrency users. There are still some hotspots that aren't serving data yet, but as it grows, it will eventually become profitable. Antenna. Antenna is essentially part of the Helium mining success. You must install it outside and as high as possible, otherwise you won't get the reward you're looking for. You can also check the transmit scale, which shows the rewards you receive at each hotspot. If the scale is low, that means that the rewards you get will be lower. Here are some tips that will help you install the antenna properly. Number one, choose an antenna that matches the location you're mining. This is especially important in rural areas where the topography is very different from urban areas. Second, choose an antenna that will cover the larger area without getting lost in the urban area. Good antenna should give you about six to eight dBi of gain. Next, you can choose an indirectional antenna which gains up to eight dBi. It's best to place it outside where you receive the most radiation. Next, measure the range of your antenna. A 3 dBi antenna can witness other hotspots at a distance up to 100 km. If you can't get the maximum range for your 3 dBi antenna, you can use a plastic protractor to check the angles. The protractor Chrome extension is useful for using Google Maps to measure the distances and angles. You don't want to widen the angle just to get more witnesses. Remember that one witness on the wrong side is costly. The best helium miner antennas come in different sizes and shapes. The best directional antenna is about Low Fra 14, which has a 43 degree dBmB, and that's the width. The other type of antenna for mining is the Low Ra 10, which offers a wide angle of coverage. The Low Ra style antennas come in a double stack version or a double stack version. A triple stack Low Ra antenna is also an excellent option. When choosing an antenna for your helium miner, you must consider your location. A good location is a roof or even a roof of your house so the antenna will have a better range if your location is in an area where buildings and tiles are prevalent. You may want to be able to get the maximum benefit of a low gain antenna. If the terrain is flat, a low gain antenna will suffice. Height. One of the main questions that many Helium users have is, how do I calculate the height of my blockchain? Fortunately, the API provides such information and there are many commands that you can find out. Among these sync status, and minor, the last one. However, it's not exactly as it sounds. It provides you with the height of your blockchain as well as the time and position of your miner. Unlike other mining software, Helium is the centralized network that uses radio technology to measure the amounts of energy it consumes. As more hotspots go live, Helium hotspots will begin to erode the earnings of each miner to the end of August 2023. The maximum earnings from an angle of Helium miner's hotspot will be limited to 2.5 million hexa. After that, the earnings will gradually diminish. With each new hotspot providing only a modest amount of hexa hash, to increase the number of HNT hotspots hosts, it will subsidize the hotspots' costs. From the HNT hotspots, the split is about 50 50 between the individual hosts and Emirate. The company has committed to making the program accessible and profitable to anyone interested in supporting the developments of the decentralized network. This way, it's possible to make mining profitable without incurring huge costs. The height of the helium miner is crucial to the efficiency of the hotspot. As a result, it's best to place several hotspots within a large area away from other hotspots. However, you can't place all your helium miners in the same spot as they will compete with each other for the same hotspot space. And if you're in a rural area, you have far more space in an urban setting. If you're interested in a simple way to determine the height of your miner, Emirates app can do this and they help you out. Staking. Before you begin staking Helium, you should know the basics. First, you should know about 10,000 HNT or 0.01 ETH with a validator. These validator pools earn 6% of the overall HNT reward and individual validators receive rewards based off the size of their pools and the frequency of their consensus groups. Afterwards, you should be able to generate some HNT for your personal use. Staking Helium doesn't have to be complicated. The basic idea is to mine 
at least one helium block a day and then stake it on an individual percentage. If you want to earn more HNTs, shorter period of time to consider, some of these will accumulate HNT cryptocurrencies is very profitable method and you should easily get a significant amount of HNT by using small amounts of electricity. So I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching the video. I'll be back with more information on Helium Miner soon.